now things get fun, I'm going to quickly brush in my base leaf colors. To do this, I'll tilt my painting table back down to nearly level. Then I'll prop up the upper right side with a 2 inch masking tape core. This makes the painting tilt slightly forward and slightly towards the left. Then with a spray bottle filled with water, I'm going to completely saturate the paper. And with a rich mix of transparent yellow and a 2 inch flat brush, I'm going to work color onto the center of the sunlight area. As I move away from the sunlight center, I'll switch over to yellow ochre. There's nothing precise about this step, just slosh it on. Then, as I get even further from the sunlight center, I'll switch over to cobalt green. I'll apply it darker, richer, as I get into this far corner of the painting. Next, while these colors are still wet, I'll pick up some rose. And with a loose bristled bamboo brush, I'm going to throw globs of it onto the underlying wet colors. You can see that it quickly blends into the wet paint, creating soft edges. Then I'll switch over to burnt sienna, and I'll throw that in as I move further from the sunlight center. And I'll pick up some cobalt green to throw onto the far right side. As the underlying colors are beginning to dry, I'm going to spray just a little bit of water on them to loosen them up again. And I'll pick up some of the excess paint and water with a tissue. Since all of the colors are still wet, I can blend them some more by picking up the painting and rocking it from side to side and from front to back. This is an easy step to overdo. I don't want to blend them too much and mix them into a new solid color. I just want a little blending so that I still have a variety of colors. Then, before the colors have dried, I'll sprinkle on some salt. As the pigments dry, the salt will absorb color, creating a texture effect. The results are somewhat unpredictable as the salt reacts differently with different colors. But it can create a wild look which is particularly useful for foliage. Then I'll give it a good dry. 